brought on fairly early. Uh, this was a project that was going to convert an, uh, a skilled nursing facility connected with a hospital. It had a, a number of unique elements, an existing facility that was used in a medical function that was going to be converted to an educational use with administration, with uh, uh, cafeterias, with uh, ec uh, exercise facilities, and, and a lot of diverse use with the unique applications that, that needed to be in, in, uh, applied here, it was, uh, it needed to be flexible, it needed to be uh, lightweight, uh, we needed to have the energy efficiency, we needed to have something that was effective for uh, a wide range of, of criteria. When Walsh contacted me regarding these projects, uh, we set up a lunch learn, educated Walsh on the VRF system, the design parameters, how it works. They, with that information, they went to the owner and they were able to uh, provide them with the energy analysis and the design considerations, which led to the decision to use VRF. The VRF system uh, fit well in the energy efficiency component and you know, allowed us to, to gain 12 points on the on the lead uh, point list, and that was a, a good measure against the 50 points that were, were required. With regard to support from, from Carrier, we have an excellent uh, service representative in, in Mike Cleric. He works tirelessly. Uh, when there's something that, that needs attention, uh, he, he gives that. During the course of the project, when uh, they decided to use VRF, we were able to provide complete engineering details, drawings, piping diagrams, equipment layout. Uh, once the project was actually purchased, we were able to bring the contractors to our Bray office, to our training facility, which showed them exactly how the unit works, how to pipe it, how to configure it, so the projects went very smoothly during the uh, installation and commissioning phase. Uh, after it's been operational, I was there for an open house, and, and uh, certainly a challenge. Uh, the rooms were full of people. Uh, it was very comfortable. Uh, in the areas that I had walked around afterwards, too, to, I was interested in, in, in noise levels and, and uh, just general functioning. Uh, I was very impressed. It was nice and quiet. Uh, I, I found that, that the systems were controlling very well. I have to admit that, that uh, with the rundown condition and the uh, dirty, uh, facility, uh, skilled nursing facility that had been abandoned, you might imagine that there was uh, those old uh, plumbing facilities that were in disarray and, and uh, it, it just didn't seem to be the right place for a, for a educational facility. The VRF system was a, was a very good match. It, it did uh, afford flexibility, it did afford energy efficiency, it was the best efficiency that we could, we could uh, see for this project and, and measure and it was, uh, just a, as it turned out, a very good application. There is some uh, resistance out there to VRF, and uh, I think that with the unknowns, I know it's been around for a good period of time in, in, in other countries. We knew the value, and we did have expert help from, from Carrier, and it was a very good process. 